Melto doso Fryot and Dio. Now this is the version of that. If you know me, you know I always have some kind of slogan with it and I always code it and, and um, initially in time for a million, trillion, billion years, this is Melto Dosso. Let me show you I'm down in the city right here. Take a look around. Uh, uh, this is at 30, 33 Street. West 33 Street. When I was a teenager, I used to come down here. Me and my friend, and my, let's put some cologne on me. You know, and give me that bread, I do some cologne shop. But anyway, I'm a deal figure entertainment. You understand? Remember to um, search me always. And remember, this one now uh, is part of Melto Dosso now. If you know me, I do seasonal permanent love, I do get a love lesson. Teenager people doing the right thing, and I did a tons out of saga. Understand? But you must check out them, man. All you guys will search me up, understand, and um, share. So this one is called Who Keep in a Relationship and Who Destroy Your Love Life. Remember, I told you I grew up in Queens around Jamaican and American, and I came from a circle of people that uh, run the street wild. And they don't run it with guns and, and all that crazy. You know, they were just about sticking and moving. Now, so what make a relationship last? It, it takes it take two shots. But who always pull up first all the time? It's a man. And, and and the women them that find good men always pull out of the relationship. Understand? Because of what they teach. For example, if a woman comes from a, a poor family, right? Or a family who do not have nothing at all. And... Um, she she been taught about um, the glamour way far as uh, you saw them show them in the movie and you know, on the music video and all the other things that they be doing. Um, she, her eyes is, is, is into that. So her eyes and her mind is going that she want to have that kind of uh, lifestyle. This all the sort of illusion that they create for them. So you might meet a, a strong man, but any any race, black race, white race, Puerto Rican, Indian, whatever. It's the same thing happening in every race. And that man, or that young man, want to be with her. Understand? And, and I, you know who does probably sell some drugs or do some hustle. Her family got some money, see how she look good. You know, she didn't have the man to be with the man. So what happened? You know, she just left him. But that guy went to school, have everything put together, and you know, one day they're going to have it all. But she didn't have patience to be with him. So she walked out, and then the guy would go up there, and then he want to come back. And he'd be like, no, that can be one of the part that destroyed. Understand? Because if you come from somewhere where your mother didn't have nothing, your father didn't have no nothing, and you met someone who want to be something, I stick with the person, you understand? But sometimes we choose wrong, and sometimes we choose stupid, that's why you got to choose wisely. That is part of destroying it. And the next thing that destroyed is too much control. And then some men have too much control, man, over women. And, and this is what um, caused it. Because sometimes, man, you must give your woman space to breathe. Like, give them a oh, oh, space, you know? You know, make, make she go out with her friend and share time with her. You know, you can't just you cuddle up with her all the time or give her some little breathing space. You understand? Tell us, baby, go go to the park. You know, you and your friend go hang out. You know, but you got to have the one that have a head on. Cause you know, a lot of women say, I'm with my friends, but she with another man. You know, oh, I'm with her, but she with, she kissing on her and deal her. You know, these are some of the things that have been in mother town. These are some of the things that can destroy it. And another thing can destroy it is um, um, self-control can destroy it. When I say self-control can destroy it, it might sound strange. You, you, you see the problem happening, right? But you don't want to say nothing. I've met people like this. They know their woman cheating. And they know their man cheating, but they just don't want to say nothing. They just stay in it. Until one day that self-control does lose. And it might turn into a knife stab, a, a, a head in the neck, a, a glass stab, a bottle stab. You know, one day the self-control does lose. So I think if you see your lover cheating and you see the rhythm change, you should confront it and talk about it. It can destroy it. And another thing can destroy it, of course, is anger. You understand? Fights and arguments and disagreement. Understand? If you love someone, the best thing to do, man, is have a, you know, an eye-to-eye -eye connection and an eye-to-eye -eye understanding. If you have an eye-to-eye -eye understanding, that I will, you know, 
make it clear. I am not a, a good at that, man, because sometimes you use the type of man, um, like I said, so sometimes I'm the type of man that like, grow out of it, man. I even write songs like that, spend all your life time. You know what I'm saying? Loving somebody, wake up one day, I'm changing my Man, sometimes the, 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 the mind shift. You love the person, you love the person, you love the person. But suddenly you just you know, you grow apart. I understand? But I think what caused that is um, not doing things together, not uh, jazzing up the relationship, not um, you know, go different places like far as like make love on the boat, uh, make love in the motel, rent a jacuzzi in the back of the car, man. If you keep doing it on the bed, same, you know, you don't, you don't steal. You know, it's like leaf, you know, the tree, come on and see, you see the tree, put it like this. The, the tree leaves them, they do not stay on all the time. They shell off and put on. So sometimes we human, we want to give away way and take another one. You understand? Don't laugh, man. For real. You know this? Even if you're, I do, I love you, but suddenly you want to break up and go out to someone. You understand? So we, we are like seasonal sometimes, in feeling, in love, in kisses. You understand? Sometimes we want some new seasonal love. And watch seasonal permanent love, I told you that. That can be one destroyer. Let's look, look at the good side. What keep it is understanding each other. You understand? That's what keep it, understanding each other or overstanding each other. When I say understanding each other, that means you don't argue. You understand? You don't fight no matter what the situation is. You understand? This is when two people um, understand each other, know the situation that do not make it excellent to um, um, something that going to cause us to separate from each other. This is where two people know, well, if we live together, we all come together, you know, you know I'm going to pay the bill, the, 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 um, the rent, on the, um, the gas bill and all that, and I'm not going to take it and buy alcohol or drugs or new shoes or new clacks. You know, because some men live with their women, and some women, and they got to pay the bill, and they go take the money and do their hair. You understand? I said, you're going to do that on the next paycheck. And then that man or that woman might feel upset over it, you know? Because some people are on point people. Some people don't like to make mistakes at all. Some people like to take care of the bills on deck. And sometimes, you know, people, you know, someone alcohol, take it up by alcohol, by drugs. You know what I'm saying? These things happen out there, you know? You know that mislead, you understand? And sometimes the mind don't, don't, don't connect. These are some other things. But to keep it is it comes with understanding each other. You understand? And I always tell you to look how business runs. Because if I walk into my job, and when I walk into my job, I say, hello, good morning. I punch in on the clock, and I'm supposed to do eight hours. If I'm doing eight, eight, uh, over eight hours, my supervisor, my manager is going to say, yo, what you doing? You'll punch off the clock and go home. You understand? If I would have took something from the company and they found out, they're going to fire me. You understand? And then this is what called called understanding. You know you're not supposed to do that, so don't do that. And the understanding comes with you live with someone. You don't go out and left the home and don't that person know where you're at. You don't party, party Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and every weekend, and I'm not with you. You understand? You gotta understand, you gotta know, you gotta practice your time. Yo, you with me now, you can't no more hang out with your friend like you used to. You can't no more do certain things that when you are away, you gotta keep communication with me because this is a cheating world. The boys cheat their girls, you know what I'm saying? Confusion, and you know, you don't want to give your lover no type of um, um, mindset that you're doing something wrong against the person because the person put us to the left and go get someone. The people, I know the moment you make a mistake, they just kick you off the ball like that. Even till this day, you make a mistake, they just cut you off the phone. And a lot of people are good people and they don't, they know how this feels today, so they do that. But what keep us together, man, we have to understand each other. Understand? And the next thing keep us together, doing things together. Understand? No matter how poor you are, no matter how your income is, when you do things together, it keep you all together. Understand? If you, if you, like I said before, if you plan a trip together, you could plan a trip to Manhattan if you're living in America. You could plan a trip to Coney Island. You can plan a trip to, to McDonald's. You know, you can plan a trip to, to BBQs or a Red Lobster. Or, you know what I'm saying? But a little dancing or a little to the Central Park. You don't have to be all that big, man. But once you do things together, a little picnic, you know, a little barbecue. When you plan things together to, for fun and enjoyment, it keep you all together. And it, 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 to, it comes to the, the, the level where it don't destroy the relationship. You understand? And the next thing keep you all together having a bank account together and y'all uh, keep um, uh, respect and trust with each other. Because when two lovers together and they're safe together, 
and build together, it make a difference. You understand? That can keep y'all together. And the next thing keep y'all together is to understand your friends that you're dealing with. You understand? Because some friends will poison your woman's mind, man. And men, some of your friends then will get jealous of what you do and poison your woman, poison your mind against your woman or give you another woman. If you got a good woman and you're not in a polygamy relationship or it's not a cheating relationship, you hold on to your, your woman. You understand? These are some of the things that you have to pay attention to. Because some women will just come to destroy it. Your mother will try to destroy it. Your father will try to destroy it. Your brothers and sisters and everybody will destroy it if you are loaded. You understand? This is what keep people together when they understand each other and know what they're doing to each other and know what they are about. You understand? And another thing I'm going to shut it down that keep y'all together is um, the most biggest, biggest, biggest one. Never, ever be seedful with each other. You understand? It keep y'all together. Be, um, uh, what's the word? Understandable with each other. Um, have an open mind with each other. Be reality with each other. Don't hate on each other. Don't fight with each other. Something go wrong, it's on your place to anger. We talk it out with each other. You understand? It's like, it's like I told you, you got to run it like business. The moment you enter there, you got to say, you know, I'm, a, I'm the CEO. Read my note on my sub stack. I am the, I'm the manager. You will understand that. I am the uh, the writer, and uh, I'm not I'm not the bad seat of the relationship. I am the CEO, so I have to control it. I am the manager. I have to control it. When two people together, they are not employees. They are managers and supervisors and CEO. If you think like them, you can control your relationship. The CEOs and managers, they focus on them. Let the company stay building and stay together. And most of all, when you build with each other, keep you all together. If you have been positive with each other, and if you are in the mindset of billing, you will never do something to break the foundation. And that's what CEO and managers do. The only time uh, they, they get a bulldozer in, boom, that's what they're going to tear down the old one and bring a new one in. You ever notice that? That's what a builder do. I have a builder master, this is what I tell you. But remember, check out David Figure Entertainment. And remember, S-T-A-Y-F-I-Y-A. Check out David Figure Entertainment. And I'm the one who said, re-upload, dark clone, remove, turn the lightning. No, they no, them understand what I said. Why I said that because the, the web reuploaded. Understand? Fire, fire, brimstone, fire, fall. Even my stuff can start. No, them understand because I'm stalling. Now this is the saga of melt out those sword fry out and die out. Those who know me know how they die out. Understand? So remember to check out the music like always. I think I'm put more in love. I get higher for oh. Beauty take me over, feel a pressure and show my blood. Think I'm put more in love, melt out the soul, fry out, die out.